Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another The Saturn Crew video. So it's early in the morning right now and we're about to head out in the 911. Today's video will focus on our 911 Carrera 4S Cabriolet and its tuning because now it has 620 horsepower and is an absolute rocket. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video and simply have a bit of fun watching it. With this series we will try and really show you every car we own and today's choice is the 911. So enjoy the video. And here it is, our 911. So as you can see obviously the car is finished in satin black, satin black wheels and a few little red accents. So we have chosen to go for the 4S version simply because the four-wheel drive system on 911s is simply amazing and you can also use the car in winter without any worries at all. We have also chosen the lights which are, uh, well we have chosen the lights in see-through I think it is called instead of the normal red giving it a nice and like a silver look which fits really well with the Akrapovic exhaust which we have fitted on this car. So first and foremost, I think the most important thing and what you guys are most interested in will be the tuning. So the car has been modified and is now pushing 620 horsepower, which honestly makes this thing a rocket. It is insanely quick and especially the launch control is absolutely absurd. But other than that, obviously a 911, the 620 horsepower and also the full Akrapovic exhaust system and we have also um, got rid of the OPF filter on French you say I think the FAP filter so that is taken out as well so the car actually sounds really good now and more like a normal 911 because on the 992s as some of you might know they kind of sound like a Dyson if you don't really do anything to them so yeah this thing actually sounds quite good now other than that you can see it's a regular 992 as mentioned before, everything is in satin black. A few details, little, little details are still gloss. And for the car, we have also opted for the X side um, light system, which basically blocks out other cars when you're on full beam. And we have the big wheels as well, which you can sadly also only order in gray or in silver from the manufacturer. So we have decided to paint them satin black because we think it looks absolutely stunning. We have also opted for the um, normal steel brake on this car because the carbon ceramics are literally not necessary and the red literally just works way better for us with our logo and also the contrast which we have inside of the car which I will show you just in a second. Let's now jump into the interior of our 992. So we have basically ordered the car in red and black. As you can see the insides of the seats are fully red and the rest is black, also having a contrast stitching in red on the car which makes it quite cool and more interesting because usually 911s are simply black and no colour at all. We have also opted for the 911 Carrera 4S plate down here to be in carbon fibre because we have the whole carbon fibre package on the inside and also on the door as you can see here everything carbon fibre. I hope the camera picks it up well enough. And yeah, then going to the speakers, we have the Burmese speakers, which in my opinion are honestly the best ones, no matter in which car. Burmese really is out there and are doing the best sound systems, in my opinion at least. Now I'm sat in the 911 and what a place to be, honestly. The build quality of this car is honestly just astonishing, but that is just a Porsche thing in general. The build quality always being absolutely amazing. So for the 992, as you can see in the middle console, you have this new design and also this gear lever, which a lot of people have complained about and they basically called it, well, they said that it looks like an electronic shaver for a beard, for example, which personally on the pictures I agreed, but in real life, it's full metal and it feels amazing. We have opted to have it in the dark chrome instead of the high finish, normal chrome, I would say just to have a bit of a darker finish and literally making it look a bit nicer. Then you have the big screen here and also obviously the normal cockpit where we have opted for the rev counter to be in red again to match everything else. The same goes for the um, club sport clock which is up here which is also in the red. 
Also, a fun fact about 911s, well not just 911s, but any Porsche in general, if you don't know, the keys are always on the left hand side of the car. And that is because back in the days when Porsche was competing and racing, like very early days of racing, they basically ran to the car, jumped in and then the race started. And basically when you jump into the car, it's an easier movement apparently if you started from the left. So that is the reason on why the, um, the ignition key goes into the left side of the car. I would say that this is it for taking you around the car and showing you how we have spec'd everything. I think it's going to be time to start the engine, give you a few revs and really show you why we have spec'd the Akropovic exhaust. I hope it comes across on camera just as well as in real life because it actually sounds phenomenal. <laughs> Let's drive the car now. So we are in the 911 and we are driving obviously. So yeah, every 911, as you probably know, is a great car to drive. They always are just perfect. You get in the car, you feel like you know the entire car after 10 seconds. And especially with the 992 models, like this one, you have the rear wheel steering, which makes life so much easier. The cornering capabilities of the car are so much higher. And in general, the 992 just feels way flatter and way more stable than the previous 911 generations. So with our car, which has 620 horsepower, it is just mind-blowingly quick. So even if you have a 997 or 991 Turbo S next to you, there's no chance. Um, going into the steering, the steering is nice and heavy, it feels really good, it is quite precise, as you can probably see from the cameraman wobbling around a bit, which is always funny for the driver. Um, yeah, it's extremely um, nice and tight, it obviously switches when you go through the driving mode, where you, have, you actually have a wet mode with the 992, which was not there before. So you have the wet mode, you have normal mode, sport mode and sport plus. My favourite mode in the car is actually Sport, not Sport Plus, because Sport Plus is just a bit too harsh for the road. And the good thing about Sport is you have a lot of pop-up-ups and that is just absolutely brilliant. But yeah, in general, uh, driving thoughts about the car, just a great thing really. There's nothing negative to really say about it. Quality is perfect, comfort is amazing. If you want to drive fast, you can drive fast. And it really is a car for everyone. Anyone can get in the car and drive safely, which is just amazing. And yeah, I think to finish the video off, we will head to a location quickly and actually do a launch control for you guys. So I'll see you right there. the location where we can actually do a launch control so I'll show you exactly how you get it started on a 911 so you have the driving mode selector down here where you literally just flip through as you can see also here on the screen and you can hear also the exhaust valves opening everything moves around a bit so for a 911 or any Porsche in general you need to go into spot plus you need to um, hold down the brake and then basically just floor the gas and go that's all you have to do. So let's do one from the inside and one from the outside to give the perfect experience. All right, let's launch it. Well, this 
this was quite some fun. This was just honestly amazing. The car just shoots off the line and is absolutely gone. And one thing with Porsches actually is, and I think they are actually kind of the only ones, in the 911, you can do it all the time. Literally, you can do launch control, after launch control, after launch control, after launch control. Nothing will ever break on the car. They are literally built to perfection and you can do it as many times as you want to. I think this was quite some fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and this will be it for the video of our 911. Um, I hope you like it as much as we do. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, also to push the post notification bell. And yeah, take care and bye-bye.